So today we're going to take notes on solubility. Solubility is a physical property, just like density is. You're not going to change it by looking at it. Solubility is just a physical property. Solubility is how much a substance can dissolve in a solution at a certain temperature. Dissolve is similar to being absorbed or to disappear. It's going to become a, a mixture. Solubility is a characteristic property, just like density. We can also use solubility to identify, that's what a characteristic property does, a characteristic property identifies a substance. A solubility graph tells us how much in grams of a substance will dissolve at different temperatures. So here we've got a graph. So let's just take a second and look at this graph. This graph is in black and white, um, but we have two things here that we're looking at. We've got this here, which I know is my y-axis. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that there. That's my y-axis. And this is my x-axis here. Go ahead and write that down. Here's my temperature. And the temperature, it's going by 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, up to 100. And here it says solubility per 100 grams of water. This means I have 100 grams of water, and this is how much powder or how much solution is going to dissolve in it. So here I've got two substances. I have KNO3 and I have NaCl. I don't know what KNO3 is, but I do know that NaCl is salt. So salt starts at 20, and even though I'm increasing the temperature from 10 to 20, 20 to 30, it seems that NaCl seems flat. And whatever this one is, is KNO3, it looks as as the temperature goes up, it looks like how much I dissolve also goes up. Okay, so let's just go ahead and look at this again. So the x-axis, which is here, x-axis, this shows my temperature. The y-axis here shows my solubility. KNO3 and NaCl are chemical formulas. And we talked, the, we mentioned the word formula before when we were doing um, atoms, atomic structure. So this is the formula or the names of the substances. Anyway, at 10 degrees Celsius, only blank grams of KNO3. So let me look at them. Look at me. Look at this. So here I've got um, here. They're looking at 10 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to go to my temperature. Here's 10 degrees. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to see where that KNO3 meets, and it is 20. So only 20 grams of KNO3 and NaCl because they're the same. They're they're both at that line will dissolve in water. After you add this amount, the solution is saturated. What does saturated mean? It means that no more than this amount will dissolve meaning dissolve means disappear at this temperature. So that means if I add more, if I add more of it, it's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna dissolve into it. So here's what a picture of something that's saturated looks like. Okay, I, I, it's kind of a fat or wide container. So there's my water, and if it's saturated, it means all of the particles of that NaCl or that KNO3, it's dissolved. It's mixed evenly in with that. 
pause at any time if you need to take more time. At 10 degrees Celsius, if I add 40 grams of KNO3 and NaCl, okay, let me see. If at 10 degrees, so here's my 10 degrees, if I add, let's look back up here. If I add 40 degrees, I mean 40 grams, if I add 40 grams at 10 degrees, it's, it's not going to be, it's, it's already saturated. So if I keep adding it, all that's going to happen is it, it's going to sink to the bottom because it can only dissolve 20 grams at 10 degrees Celsius. So let's draw another picture here. So here Let's draw a picture of I have, I'm going to keep that same container. So let's say this is 10 degrees. So let's say this is 10 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to have this one at 10 degrees Celsius. There's the 10 grams. Here's the 10 grams that I added. And that's all going to dissolve. And you've seen this if you make lemonade or chocolate milk. I want to keep adding it. If I keep adding it, what's going to happen to it? It's just going to sink to the bottom. It's not going to dissolve at all. So I would have 10 grams of it is just going to sit down here. So I have, I'm sorry, this would be 20 grams dissolved. 20 grams dissolved. And this is my, if I added 40, this would be 20 grams at the bottom. Okay, a solute is what you dissolve. A solvent is what you dissolve the solute into. A solution is the solute mixture in the solvent. Okay, so here, KNO and NaCl, let's see, is what I dissolve. KNO3, that's what I'm dissolving. So these are the solutes. The water, let's see, a solvent is what you dissolve the solute into, the solvent. A solution, when you have it all dissolved in here, that's my solution. Okay, so here's my way to remember that. Okay, so there was a robber. He went into a hotel and he is, he goes in and he steals all this stuff. He goes in to the, here's my robber, and he goes in and he's going to steal all this stuff. So he's going to put it in a bag. So here's my, here's my bag, and you, and you know what they put, they call, here's my cash, here's my money, here's my jewelry. I can't draw jewelry, but I'm just going to have, so here's all the things that I stole. And this is called loot. My bag of, of stolen goods, that's my loot. Well, I'm walking out of the hotel and I hear the police coming. So I panic. So in, I go in the elevator and I look up above and I see a vent. I see up in the ceiling, there's a vent that I can in, in the ceiling. And I'm going to take that vent down and move that vent and I'm going to put the loot inside the vent. And that's how I escape the police. That's my solution. Okay, so let's look at how I remember that. The loot, like the solute, the loot, this loot goes into the sol vent, and that's the solution. And in that story, I did become the person who was stealing. Um, but it is a fictional character. Okay, so let's look at how we read a graph. Okay, so here are the questions, and I'm going to keep my graph here next to me. How many grams of KNO3 will dissolve in 100 grams of water at 40 degrees Celsius? Okay, so here's, so I'm going to look at this information. So let me underline the important stuff. So I'm looking at KNO3, 100 grams of water is always going to be like what my solution is. 
at 40 degrees Celsius. So really the two most important are KNO3 and 40 degrees Celsius. So here's my KNO3 line. This is my KNO3 line. And we want to know um, at 40 degrees Celsius, so here's my 40 degrees Celsius. I'm going to go up here, 40 degrees Celsius, and want to know how many are going to dissolve. So here is this. I'm going to grab this. 40 degrees Celsius, I have 60 grams. So that's my answer, is 60 grams. Okay, next question. How much, any, how much NaCl will dissolve in my water at 40 degrees Celsius? Okay, so now I've got to look at NaCl. I'm looking to see if I have a different color pen. I don't. I'll use pencil. So here's my NaCl. Here's my 40 degrees again. And how much is going to dissolve? Only 20. Let me use this again. Only 20 dissolves at 40 degrees for NaCl. So 20 grams for the NaCl. How many more grams of KNO will dissolve at 40 degrees than NaCl? Okay, so I had 60 grams of my KNO3 dissolved at 40 degrees. I had 20 grams of my NaCl at 40 degrees. So the difference is 60 minus 20 is 40 grams. 40 grams of KNO, 40 more grams of KNO, three will dissolve than the NaCl. Okay, here's another one. How many grams, so I'm looking at KNO3, will dissolve in my 100 grams, oops, 100 grams of water at 60 degrees Celsius. So let's look over here. KNO3, I'm looking at 60 degrees, so here's my KNO3 line. There's my 50, 60, so here's 60. How much? I'm going to go up to that line. Okay, so now I'm going to take this over. So let's see what I've got. Let's, let's see. It's in between 100 and 120, so I'm going to say 110. So 110 dissolve, 110 grams. How many grams of NaCl will dissolve in 100 grams of water? And you know what? I might just mention this. It, I know it says 100 grams of water, but if the density of water is 1, it actually, I can say 100 grams or I can say 100 milliliters. It doesn't make a difference. It means the same thing. Okay, so back to here. NaCl at 60 degrees. Wow, wow, nothing really changed. So I've got 20, maybe a little bit above. So 20, I'd say 20 grams, maybe, maybe 21. Maybe it was 21. It's, it's hard to tell. It's very close. Okay, so similar question. How many more grams of KNO3 will dissolve at 60 degrees than at NaCl at 60 degrees? So I had 110 grams of my KNO3 versus, I'm easy math, I'm going to go 20 grams of my uh, NaCl. So that's a difference of 90 grams. So 90 grams more dissolved of the KNO3 than of the NaCl. Okay, solubility is a characteristic property. We can use it to identify a substance. NaCl and KNO3 both look like white powder. A student has, uh, a student heats 100 grams of water to 80 degrees Celsius. White powder, number one, dissolved 21 grams at this temperature. According to the graph, it must be, okay, so let's again, let's look at what's my pertinent information. So now I don't know whether it's the KNO3 or the NaCl, so, but I know it's 100 grams of water and they heated it to 80. So let's look at our graph. So here's my 80, um, 80 degrees and it said that 21 grams dissolved. So if only 21 dissolved, that must mean it's NaCl, because if I had 180 dissolved, then it would have been KNO3, but I only had 21 grams dissolved, so therefore it must be NaCl, because it's a characteristic property, and characteristic properties 
let's let's add this. What they do is they identify they identify an object. Okay. White powder number two dissolved 180 degree 180 grams at this temperature. Well, I just looked at this. Here's my 80 degrees. I had 180 dissolved. That second powder must be KNO3. And by the way, uh, K is potassium, N is nitrate, is my oxygen. This would be pronounced potassium, <laughs> potassium nitrate. Okay, the solubility of is most blank, is most affected by increasing the temperature. So let's look. As the temperature goes from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, which one of these changes more? NaCl stays flat, so it is definitely the potassium nitrate. My KNO3 is most affected. The solubility of blank is, I think this is supposed to say least, I'm gonna change this, and I'm gonna have it for yours, least affected. Which one stays pretty much the same all the way across? NaCl. Even though the temperature is going up, the temperature increases, the temperature goes up, the solubility, even though I'm adding the heat to it, I can't keep adding more salt, it doesn't, it doesn't change. Okay. So, Jair adds 100 grams of KNO3 to water that's been heated up to 50 degrees. Will the KNO3 completely dissolve or will some fall to the bottom? Okay, I feel like I'm getting this now, so let's see. Here I am at 50 degrees. Let me look at my important numbers. Jair adds 100 grams of KNO3 to the water that's been heated up to 50 degrees. Okay, so here I've got 50 degrees and I add 100. Is it all going to dissolve? This line right here, this line is the solubility curve. Everything that's on here or below is going to dissolve. Anything above is not going to dissolve. So do we have some above? Yeah, we do. So if Jair adds uh, 100 grams at 50, some of it will fall to the bottom. Okay, so we're going to say some of it's going to fall to the bottom. Why? Because at 50 degrees, at 50 degrees Celsius, only 80 grams will dissolve. And I added 100 or Jair added 100. So Jair added 100. So only 80 will dissolve. That means 20 grams would, would go to the bottom. You know what? Let's go ahead and do a little picture here. So I can fit a picture in right here. So here's my water. 80 grams is gonna dissolve and 20 grams is gonna go to the bottom. So let's label that. Let's do 20 grams. 80 grams. So 80 grams is dissolved and then 20 is going to sink to the bottom. Okay. Tony adds 29 grams of NaCl to water that's heated up to 70 degrees. So here's my important information. Well, Tony, you're super important, but 29 grams of NaCl has been heated to water at 70 degrees Celsius. That's my important numbers. Will the NaCl completely dissolve or will some fall to the bottom? How do you know? Okay, so let's look at this. So I've got, I've heated it to 70 degrees. I'm looking at NaCl, I put 29 in. So here is, let's look at this. Here's 20, here's 40. So 29 is gonna be about halfway. So I'm gonna make a little mark there. And I did it at 70 degrees. Okay, so is all of it gonna dissolve? No? If he adds 29, then some will fall just some, some of it will fall to the bottom because at this temperature, only 20 grams, maybe 21, um, will dissolve. So again, let's draw one, one uh, not solve, dissolve. 
So again, let's draw another picture. So here, you're going to have your heated water, and I'm going to add 29 grams. So 20 grams will dissolve. And if you drink it, it's going to taste really salty. But I keep adding it, the rest of it is going to go to the bottom. So 9 grams would not dissolve. Okay.